Clean Replace Accelerator Cable. In this session, we will learn step-by-step -step procedure of replacing or cleaning accelerator cable. The speed of the motorcycle is increased by turning the accelerator. The function of the accelerator is to provide sufficient fuel to engine to produce more power. Accelerator works on the mechanism by which fluid flow is managed by constriction or obstruction. The accelerator, which is at the right handle, is connected to the accelerator cable. Rotating the accelerator provides throttle and resets back to its initial positions when released. The accelerator cable is a crucial part of a motorcycle. If it sticks, when the accelerator is wide open, vehicle may go out of control. Before we go into the procedure, first, let us take a look at the tools and materials. The tools are double-ended spanner set, adjustable spanner, common pliers, needle nose pliers, tools tray, parts tray and grease. Reusing a damaged throttle cable can prevent proper throttle operation and may lead to a loss of throttle control while riding. With the engine idling, turn the handlebar right and left to ensure that the idle speed does not change. If idle speed increases, check the accelerator grip, free play and throttle cable routing. We will now see the steps involved in throttle cable replacement. Remove lower end of the throttle cable. For that, First, unscrew by hand or using pliers the aluminium cap on the top of the carburetor. Slowly pull out the needle piston at the end of the cable by hand. Which way the slot on the needle piston faces when you pull it out? It will need to go back in at exactly the same orientation. Next, holding the piston in one hand compress the exposed spring with the other hand. This loosens the end of the core and allows the core with its soldered end to slip through the slot outside of the piston, releasing it. Note the position of the spring. It may be tapered on one end and must be reassembled the way it was taken apart. Place the needle piston, cap and spring into the parts tray exactly as you took them out. Remove the upper end of the throttle cable by loosening the two screws on the throttle hand grip. Then, using needle nose pliers, gently move the cable to the side and align it with the slot and slide out the cable. The cable is now free. Pull it out, noting it's rooting carefully. Wipe it clean and lubricate the core ends with thin oil. Inspect the cable for kinks, damage and deterioration. Replace it if needed. Install the throttle cable by rerouting it the way it was removed. Reconnect the upper end first. Once the pivot end is back in its pivot hole, pull the core slack from the other end. Position the cable properly in the hand grip and tighten the screws. Connect the lower end of the throttle cable. Now, attach the needle piston by compressing the spring and pushing the soldered end of the cable core over and into the slot of the piston. If assembled properly, it will slide smoothly into the carburetor if the slot is oriented properly. The piston can be turned right or left a little until it slides freely all the way in. 
unscrew the cap on. Test the throttle by turning the hand grip. If it freely returns to the idle position, it has been installed properly. If not, the needle piston slot is not oriented correctly. Unscrew the cap and rotate the slot until it goes down a little further into the hole and retest. Tighten the cap slightly with the pair of pliers. The throttle grip free play should be 2 to 6 mm. Measure it with the ruler. There are adjusters in both ends of the cable. The upper one is for minor adjustments. Slide the boot of the adjuster, loosen the lock nut and turn the adjuster as needed. After adjustment, re-tighten the lock nut and slide the boot back into place. Major adjustments are made with the lower adjuster. Finally, test drive the vehicle with attention to accelerator to ensure it's smooth working. Now is the time to clean the work area, wipe the vehicle where the work was done, clean and store the tools. Test drive the vehicle with particular attention to smoothness of shifting gears, clutch engagement and disengagement points. There should be some slack room at the end of the lever movement. If there is not, the clutch may be slipping. Readjust if needed. With this, we come to the end of the lesson. We have successfully replaced the throttle cable of a motorbike. Hope you have enjoyed this class as much as we have enjoyed sharing it with you. Thank you.